Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first farming escapade of the all-electric farm. We are heading to Indiana with an electric pickup truck to pick up a new sheep. Will we make it back in one piece? Well, that's to find out. The F-150 Lightning is a powerhouse on wheel. Not only can it power your house in a power outage, it's got 580 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. The EPA says this thing can go 320 miles, but we are going to test that out today and figure out if this is the truck of the future. As you can tell, it's very quiet. Probably one of the best benefits of an electric vehicle. So now, we're pulling out of the driveway to go pick up the sheepy. Here we are, the home of our new Your woolly creatures. Your destination is on the right. Look at him, he's so cute. So how's the truck doing? We went 152 miles with 63% battery life. That looks to be about 410 miles on the battery. We'll see if we can get any what remotely close to that on the way back. All right, we're back on the road. We got our surprise and our health papers. Just certifying that our sheepy is in good condition and healthy. You also need these to take animals over the border as well, so. Gotta comply with the law. Well, what do we have here? Well, there's a cow. Ice cream here is pretty good. In an effort to go eco-friendly, we're not filling up on gas. Sheep, some of the unsung heroes of eco-farming. One of the most remarkable aspects of these sheep are their grazing behavior. These little woolly bears have just an insatiable appetite for grass, making them very affordable lawnmowers. And they are just incredible composters. Every chew that they take and every dropping that they make, they really put nutrient-dense manure back onto the fields. Um, it's pretty clear in our area where you can see the grass just between the field and an area that hasn't been grazed, just the color difference is just stark. The wool from sheep is also eco-friendly, providing an alternative to synthetic fibers. Overall, they make great pets. Being eco-friendly also means technologically smart. So, living in this traffic jam with adaptive cruise control and hands-free driving. I can get used to this. Sheepy's only got a few more blocks to go. We're back. And only 19%. 18% left on the battery. That's not bad for a 310 mile trip. So you're probably wondering what the surprise is. You just hanging out? We got a little guy home. He's a little skittish, but he made the adventure. We didn't run out of batteries. <coughs> yeah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> 